So hi everybody and welcome back. This is a C++ tutorial series for absolute beginners. This is video 172 and in this video we continue with the special keyword this which is a pointer which is created from the compiler and we are just using it. In my last video we talked about this explanation and I showed you that we can even show that the this pointer um, when we go to the debug node here that and start it and then it jumps here to the back of the creation of this variable then we can see that when it is jumping to the class the compiler when i go here one more step then here on the bottom we see the compiler is creating the special this pointer and this is pointing to the class here we can see it here on the type it is pointing to this class and we have access to these variables here for example x and y which is this one and this one so here one more note which i should mention and it uh, that can uh, cause problems perhaps because i explained it a little bit strange which is i said when i explained this one here that we, when we have a nested class here uh, the compiler is creating for this one another this uh, um, uh, pointer. But actually the compiler is not really creating another this. It is more like uh, the compiler is creating only one this pointer, but it is treating them just differently. So with other words, I explained to you that uh, here at this point, we have another this which is pointing here and at this point we have another this which is pointing here this is more the uh the let's say the way we should understand it because um this is the way how it is treated but the compiler is not creating differently this pointers he's just the internally imagine managing that when he is in another struct in a nested class it is just assigning this one it's automatically assigned the this pointer which is created here all outside uh, one time it is just assigned now to this inner nested uh, class at this point of time but i said this is a little bit more uh, more things for theoretical part you should read a good c++ book and then you will see this but the understanding is important that you understand it that this pointer here and that this pointer is uh, pointing not at the same uh, place this one is now inner and this one at here is pointing to outer that was this one and then we went here down and i want start in this video with these examples here and before I start with the examples, there is one more note which we uh, should read. Where was it? Here on top. It says here, let's read this line here. It says here, when a non static class member is used in any of the contexts where the this keyword is allowed, okay, uh, we learned this. This is all the context here. And then a non-static uh, member function bodies member initializer list default member initializers and so on the implicit this implicit means all the time the compiler created this here the compiler is creating this one what you can see here is that this and we learned what this kind is this is just a member access uh, specifier instead of dot we use it with pointers that we learned uh, two uh, videos ago i think and then it is automatically added before the name resulting in a member access specifier yes this one is a member access specifier but uh, which is which if the member is with okay that we can skip that's not important important is here all right the important thing here is the what means that here we read now this line but what is the meaning of that implicit uh, this pointer is applied automatically added before the name mm. let's go here to this uh, to this example again so we already talked about this crash here is a created variable and i think we have already talked i'm not sure if we have anyway i don't think we have um uh, 
I think we jump now to the examples and then I explain exactly what this one is. So let's jump to the example. It's easier to explain. So here are class T. I copied this class T here and we will now use this class T uh, with the examples. So let's get into it. At the first we see there is a variable declaration without initializer, which means we have no default value here. But we have here a function, a non-static function, and here we see what it says here, x equals 6. This is our normal way to use a variable, which x is here, the x which we have on top, it is used here. By the way, the class has no access specifier, which means all is private here, but that's not so important right now. But in general, uh, we uh, that is good to know. So here, int x is here, normal use case. What is this one here? This one here is the use case what uh, uh, the compiler is doing normally. What is the compiler doing? The compiler is adding uh, for this member here on top, uh, invisible this normally. Uh, this one, what you can see here, it's invisible added in function calls uh, or all time there where you want to use a variable invisible in front of this one uh, of this x here and they say here at this point we can use this uh, in instead of using here this version we can also use explicit explicit means intentionally this word this member function x is equal five and the reason why we want to do this in cases is we want to point out that we want explicit. We want to use this x here on top uh, because this here, this uh, this pointer here, this part here, is saying I go to this class, I point here to this x, I get access because we learned this is a pointer. This is the member access specifier, and we access the x this here, and. This one is just pointing out, I have accessed now this variable x here, and I assign it just a value of five here in this case. But here, what you can see here on top is the same, like that here. And why is it the same? Because, uh, the, like I said, this part here, what you, what you see here in front is invisible. So let's go and show this one, if this is really true. Here's the same example, and, you can see I have here X. When I click here on this X here, it highlights this one, this one, and this one. But let's see if this is working, right? So um, I think it is working. And let's see here. So first of all, there is no error. That's all time a good sign. And the next thing is um, you can use this, yeah. The uh, you will understand this one in a little bit better when I go here to do other function, uh, other examples. Just keep in mind, this one is normally invisible. This part here, and it means just you want exactly point out which member variable uh, you want. Important is here member variable, which means a class of the pointed class, this variable. Because let me show you the examples here below, then you understand it really good. So for, before we go to the other examples, here is one more thing. We have here again a non-static member function, but it is const. And const means like all times, please change not the body. And here we try to change it. That's why we have here an error, because we should not change here anything and this special this here is uh, said this uh, one is const uh, constant as well there was something here with uh const volatile qualifiers that they take the same i think you can read this line a little bit more than you see what they mean with this const uh, volatile const uh, they yeah they say uh, take some yes some attributes too. If it's your const, then it is, this is also const, which means just don't change it. You can't change this one here. Okay. That's uh, not so difficult because all time when you read const means don't change that what it is const. Uh, yeah. All right. I hope that's easy. So let's go to this one here. 
which is interesting. Now, uh, here I said this uh, here is uh, exactly pointing out that you want to use this one. And this example is nice to, uh, to see what it means. For example, we have a non-static member function. You can see it here. Normal uh, without return type, um, variable foo, and here int x parameter. And here we see something very bad, like all time. We have a here x uh, parameter, and we have here on top an x member variable uh, also the name x so we have here x and here x and that is all time bad but that can happen a lot in classes because perhaps they find not uh, all time a unique name and they use it a lot and in this cases then in this cases this word this makes now really sense why it makes now really sense because you want distinguish this x from this x and we learned that this member, this word pointer, this with the member access specifier means all time I access the class member. So I'm not accessing now this one here. And they uh, take this advantage and say, okay, this X, I know it is all time the pointer of the class, which means the member variable is equal to x so you can see we have here x here x and this x here is taken from here so you have to uh, know that this x here this uh, when we use this explicitly like this one means um we just want point out that we want to use the member here the member class member and in this case, this makes sense because we have here the name X and here also X. Because if we don't use this one here, then, the, uh, then there is a confusion a little bit. X equal X. What do you mean X equal X? But when you say this X, which means this member X is equal, this X makes, uh, yes, it is absolute clear. So this is a good use case of this X. And yeah, unqualified x refers to a parameter this required for this ambiguation. It says here in the comments. All right, I think that's also not too difficult, and it makes now it makes really sense why we need this special pointer. At at least at this point, makes it absolute sense. And here, again, what we have here, we have here a variable declaration. At this point, it's all time bad. Better on. Uh, top with uh, a section for variables because between the codes are variable declaration don't do this they make it just for demonstration purposes for this demo here but in general don't do this and of course what we have here again we see it it is a what a constructor we learned this and this constructor take one parameter x and we have our initializer here, a member initializer. We learned this as well, which is comma separated. We have two initializers. We initialize the variable x, which is this one here, with a x, which is this one here. Then we have a second initializer, which is y, which is this one here, which is here created. And then we use again this x. And when you all, si all time see this x means all time, um, like before, we are pointing to the class and we want the member uh, of this class, which is this x here. And we use this as a parameter, which means we want to use assign it here to y. And uh, why is this a little bit uh, necessarily? So when you see here, we have here a x and we have here a x again. And here, at this point, we are saying which x you want to use. Do you want to use the parameter or do you want to use the member of the class? And in this, normally you would use the parameter, right? Most time, let's say so. Most time you would use the parameter, but in this case, they say, no, don't use the parameter x here. I want to use the x member variable here. And that's why they pointed exactly out with this word this. All time when you read this here, it means all time member of this class, not the parameter which is given here or not the parameter which is given here. Uh, so this is the best use case of this, I think. 
at least for starters and then we go to the next point and this point i want to make again in a special video in the next video because we are learning the return uh, of a function with a this uh with this keyword this pointer as a reference and this one is very important because i want not only show here the this pointer reference i want to show you how you can use this one for function uh yes member let's say concatenation because you can return to, to the reference to the class itself and then you can call it over and over and over it again but this one we make in the next video and yeah i think that's so uh, the absolute basics and like i said there is of course more stuff here which we have not talked and so on but these are the basics which you have to understand uh with the this of course this referencing is also very important that comes in the next video and yeah if you understand this so far that's good and uh, the most important part is that you know that the this pointer is created by the compiler behind the scene it is applied all time to the class where it is created or if it's nested class then it counts for the innermost class which we learned also and it is all time referring to the member here which means if you call this one like here this one when i write here this uh x here it's the same like here okay that was anyway the same but let's make it so <laughs> and yeah we can write it this way because here we say i want access this member here on top this is all time the meaning of calling this when we call it active as a programmer. Normally, we don't do this here in normal function calls because uh, normally we make something like this one, right? That was that before. And here, and this is the real use case which you should understand most time when you have same names and you want to point out which one you want to use. Here in this case, they say this x here. I want use and I want assign this x here but here this case was better here I change here a little bit to uh, the uh, constructor I added a y but that's not so important and then I say here this x here which is all time this x on top because we learned this in initializer I want use this x here which is in this case this parameter x and then I subtracted one and here this one is the important part here this y says instead of using this parameter x which you would normally do I say no in this case I want to use this x here on top all right I that was again that all what I said again in a fast mode again I hope you understand this one because that's so the basics and the last thing we will learn here with the this is this uh, this referencing and uh, how to use it with functions and so all right with that said if you have any questions any complaints like all time write it in the comment and don't forget to, you have to watch this again in a like all time in a good c++ book uh, documentations online documentations where they explain this a little bit more in detail more accurate and but for for use cases this practical use cases you will see that will work for us all right with that said, like all time, have fun and good luck. Bye.